Alright, so I'm going to create a whole new section of videos and posts just on automating your workflow, making things easier, and having your computer do all the work for you and not you. So, the first thing we are going to take care of is managing your downloads folder. So, if you're like me, you download a bunch of crap. Uh, have a bunch of DMG files, zip files, PDFs, documents, and everything, and it all just gets thrown into the downloads folder. And we want to organize this a little better instead of having a list of a hundred items or so. So this is my downloads folder. I split it up between a folder on my desktop just to show you after we get this working what it does. But on my desktop computer, it's a lot more things, a lot messier. So the first thing we want to do is build a folder structure. So let's get in here and start building folders. So we want a folder for DMGs. We want a folder for zip or um, archives. Let's change that to archives. And um, DMG docs and zips. And we'll have one for media. So if any MP3s, videos, MOVs, MP4s come in, it'll get shoved into there. All right. So now that we have a basic folder structure, we're actually going to use Automator on this because it's quick and simple, and uh, you guys can jump into it and modify it all you want. So when we first start Automator, we get this window of what type of uh, document do we want to create, and we want to create a folder action. So we'll click folder action, hit choose, and the first thing we have to do is select so the first thing we need to do is select what folder do we want these actions performed on. So hit choose folder other and then we want um, our downloads folder. So we'll choose downloads and we can see that here. So now we want to filter what we're going to do. So we hit files and folders over here and then we want filter finder items. So we'll click that and drag it over and now we put in what type of filter we want and we're going to start out with um, DMG. So is we'll change it to file extension is DMG. All right. And after that, what do we want to do with these filtered file finder items? We want to move finder items. So we'll drag that over. And now where do we want to move it? We want to move it to other and then to DMG. Hit choose and that's all we have to do. So we'll save this so command S and we're gonna name this downloads DMG. Let's save and this one's complete. So let's close that, create a new one, folder, and this will be our zip. So Let's choose our downloads folder and get back to our finder items. We want filter and file extension is zip. And then we want to move these finder items. And these will go into archives. And actually, let's add like TARS and GZ. So, first thing we need to do is instead of all are true, we want any are true. And then we hit this plus to add another one. File extension is TAR. Let's add another. File extension is GZ. And we can go on and on. So, now that we have that, let's save this one call it downloads and then archives we'll hit save and we're done so now let's test and see if this works so we'll quit out of automator and let's just see the um, the actions that are assigned to our downloads folder so we'll pop up in finder go to downloads and right click on it and hit um, actually we need to go into Michael and then right click on your downloads folder and then we need to go to uh, think 
folder action setup and for this just hit cancel and we can see the three doc or the two that we made I already had one in there and uh, what they are we can enable them we can edit these if we need to make some changes so that's how you go back and edit them so now let's test it out and make sure it works so I'm going to drag over uh, this little selection here we have a couple DMGs and a couple zip files so this will just simulate a file being downloaded and put into your downloads folder so we dragged them over and then we seen them disappear so they disappeared where they go we look in archive well, we look in DMGs those worked but they didn't get put into archives so the zip ones alright well that zip worked so why didn't those other two zips get put in there that's weird let's just try this again I have a tar gz one here let's drag those over and we've seen some got taken away so the GM, DMG is working fine but our zip archives aren't so we're going to have to edit that huh. alright so let's go back to our finder our home directory right click on downloads folder actions just hit cancel on this first one and we want archives edit and we're back in automator and if any are true move to archives is tar zip hmm. So I'm not quite sure I know what's going on here. Zip or tar. We'll just um, we can do a kind, and we can say um, no. Let's not do that. We'll just do file extension again and we'll just have zip and we'll delete these other two. So let's save that. Let's close out automator, close out this. And let's go back here and grab some zip files and drag them out. Alright, now let's drag these back in and see if it actually works and it's not uh, there it took a while so let's check on archives and zips working now so um, we may it may be a little more involved maybe we want to change this archives to zip and split up more just so it works better but I'll try to figure out what's happening with when we have multiple criteria in it but that's the basic uh, idea of how you set up your um, downloads folder so let me drag all of these out and then I'll drag them all back in and it should be working now getting the rest of those DMGs out getting those zip files and putting them in archive and uh, yeah ooh I bet I know why there's a couple more dots but it should know that but it does what we need for now with only a minute making this um, script here. So uh, that's how I take care of all my downloads folders, how I archive them and stuff. And it makes it a whole lot easier to find things. So uh, next video, we're going to work on something else, maybe clean up the desktop or uh, just keep automating everything we can so we don't have to do it.